Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and to this time-lapse version of a cow in soft pastel. Now this is the speeded up version. If you'd like to see full length tutorials from this piece then please do visit me over on my Patreon channel. I'll add links in the description below. There will be a full length real time paint along demo from this piece very soon. But if you enjoy this here, then please do subscribe to me here on YouTube and also check out all my other playlists for lots more videos. This piece is on pastel matte paper. You can see the lovely warm sienna colour of the paper. I love using this colour and it really brings out the warmth in the subject. So I start the demo by working on the background as I often do. And this is a really nice simple background to add to any kind of animal portrait if you want to give a kind of outdoors feel without going into any detail. So we start the demo with the background and then when it comes to working on the animal it means that all of my edges sit nicely on top of the background and I can make certain edges nice and crisp where it needs to be and other edges soft and feathered. So in this tutorial I talk a lot about how to work the edges and that really adds to the effect of the realism and gives it a 3D effect. I've wanted to paint one of these cows for so long. I'm very lucky to live in a place where it's a natural park and all the animals in this area roam freely so there's no animals in fields. Everyone's just hanging out together so when you're driving up the little road there could be cows in the middle of the road, there could be sheep, horses, donkeys, or all of the above. So it's really nice to encounter these animals on a daily basis. And over the last few weeks, while there are lots of young calves and some beautiful sunlight, um, this was taken in the early morning hours. And I've been hanging out with the cows quite a bit this last few weeks just to try and get a good photo reference to work from as a demo for my patrons. And I really wanted this piece to be all about the lighting. And that's something that I talk about a lot in this tutorial. There's really contrasted light from one side of the cow to the other. The left side being heavily in shadow and the right side having really bright highlights. And I love painting from photo reference like that because it comes out really effectively in the painting. If you can choose a photo reference with high contrast and an interesting lighting effect, then it gives you so much more to work with in the painting. But I'm not the best photographer in the world, so in my photo reference the shadows looked quite dark, a little bit too contrasted. So one of the main things that I'm teaching in this tutorial is how to bring out more colour in the shadows, how to make it more interesting than it is in the photo reference. So that was my aim with this piece, to try and make it better than my photograph. Which isn't hard because as I said I'm not a professional photographer and photographing in really contrasted bright sunlight is really difficult. It's hard to get both the bright areas and then any colour to show up in the dark areas. Sometimes the shadows just look really black. So I have a few tricks for how I work from a photo like that and how I bring out more colour in the painting. So this is done from quite a limited palette. I decided to only use colours from my Unison Animal set from the 36 set. And surprisingly, I didn't even use half of the set in this. It's quite a limited range of colours. So if you've got the Unison Animal set, you will have more than enough colours to work along with me on this. The only thing that I did add, of course, was a few greens for the background. And for the little bits of grass that you'll see sticking out of her mouth later on.
So if you're interested in having a go at this piece, join me over on Patreon. You'll find the full length paint along demo where you can see all of this in real time. And I've chatted the whole way through. It's about eight and a half hours in total. And I've talked the whole way through it, talking about my color choices, the types of mark that I'm making, how I go about thinking about color, just my entire thought process as I worked on this. That and a few added background noises from my own animals, as always. So I'll add links in the description below if you would like to have a go at this and the many other types of animal portrait that I have on my Patreon channel. You can check out the full library that's available by visiting my website, emmacolbertart.com and there you'll find the full library of real-time tutorials so you can check out what I have available before signing up. So my main aim with this piece was to bring out colour and to really make the shadow areas glow. I've used lots of a deep purple colour and a lovely vibrant blue over on the shadow side of the face. And I'm always talking about colour theory. Of course, the greens in the background they're obviously going to go really nicely against all of the warm red earth colours that I'm using. But I also love the effect that purple and green have. Those are probably my two favourite colours, especially when put together. And I often wear purple and green together, so it's really one of my favourite combinations. But I really love working with colour. I love playing with the effects, seeing if I can push my colour values further. And that's something that I really encourage my patrons to do. And I really enjoy helping people open their eyes to more colour. It's something that happened gradually for me. I didn't naturally work well with colour when I first started out as an artist. And that's almost the best way to start really because then I've had the joy of opening my eyes more and more to colour and it's a really fun journey to be on. And for me now, part of that fun is helping other people along on their journey into colour. I get to see so many other artists have these breakthrough paintings where suddenly something clicks. And there's no better medium to learn about colour in than soft pastel. It's a bunch of pre-mixed colour just sitting at your fingertips. No mixing no coming up with the perfect consistency for the paint. You just pick up the sticks and go. So I'm using mostly the unison pastels, but then you will see me pick up a handful of pastel pencils as well. I've got a mixture of different brands of those. For my black, at the moment I'm using the Brunzil which is a Dutch brand and I find the black is really nice and dark. Then for white, I'm using a General's white pencil, which I'm absolutely amazed by. It's such a good white pencil. I've started using it in pretty much all of my work. And all of the other colours, I'm using Faber-Castells mostly. The colour of pencil that I tend to use will coincide with most of the colours of soft pastel that I'm using. So it makes sense that when I want to tweak or refine certain areas, 
or drag pigment out over the edges into really soft fluffy hair then it's usually going to be the same colour of pastel pencil as the soft pastel stick that I've used. I had so much fun on this piece. I love to create light and shade. And it's just all about being consistent as you come down the face, that in each area you're looking at the colours used in the shadows versus the colours in the sunlight. And it's just all about not putting any of those brightest highlights over on your shadow side. So that's most of the hard work done. Just the little bits of grass sticking out of her mouth. But most of the main detail is on her face. Then with the rest of her body, I can be much looser, more painterly and let the rest of her body be a little bit more out of focus and that is another little trick which helps all of that sharp detail in her face really pop out. So these are all techniques that I talk about loads and loads during the eight and a half hours of painting time lots of time for me to give all of my tips and techniques and I've also provided my patrons with the high resolution photo reference and a whole photo pack of other cow references as I have a ton of cow photos now so whether they want to paint along with me on this piece or choose another photo reference and use these techniques and apply them to their own reference image, which I provide them royalty free. But I hope that you've enjoyed seeing this speeded up version and that it has at least given you some ideas on how to approach something like this. I do hope that many of you will come and join me on Patreon and paint this along with me. And that you'll take a few minutes to check out my entire tutorials library. As if cows aren't your thing, maybe there's something else in there that will catch your interest. So just a final bit of work to do on the body and that ear on the right. Such a fun piece to work on. I've absolutely loved every minute of it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this time-lapse version. Thanks very much for visiting me here on my channel. Please do subscribe here on YouTube. And until next time, Happy pastling.